need to do a good, uh, what do you call, uh, beginning of Tai Chi. So I do this, I take a step forward, you know. So from here, now a question is, where do I want to push T? Okay, if I push T this way, it'll go down. Okay. Okay, so if I push it that way, he'll go down. So if I bring this in, take a walk. Okay. How do I decide that? I decide based on his body. He's tall, he's medium, he's short. So you cannot do the same thing with one person. So we all know that this is the center of our body. So see here, from here, this is the center. So if I push him there, I know I can move him easier. Less chance for him to struggle. Okay. Because I push towards his center point. Which is the best point to push on one. So my hand is on here. If I push it like that, so that I can't. So when I push my finger, he goes. So my finger, all I have to do is raise my finger and go. That's why we're going to form the fingers out. We don't know how to form this. Well, I don't know how to stop them. Well, that's their situation. We have our situation. Our situation is here. But I know a lot of people, when they do this, they love themselves so much, they do, they do, they do a touch it. Only the big battle moving like this. Many people. You know? But they want to gather chi. We don't gather chi here. We got chi already. We want to knock the guy out. Okay. So the hand has to be from here, right? Point to That's it. Okay. So by moving forward, what does it give me? Now, come on, engineer, science. What do you give me? Well, that was just a momentum, right? It gave me momentum. And plus, by moving forward, piss him off. That's momentum. If I stand here, Steve won't piss off. I shoot my judge face in front of him, he'd be pissed off. So when he get pissed off, what is pissed off? When somebody get pissed off, what happened? He's uprooted. You make him mad. So he's uprooted. He spit on him, he's a little better. If you spit on him, what's gonna happen? You will. He go like this. So he's uprooted. So these are all fighting.